The Super Bowl means a super big media blitz with journalists from all around the world in town for the full week before the game covering every and any storyline coming from the Broncos, Seahawks, and beyond. The Super Bowl's official media center is just a short distance from Times Square. I've covered every Super Bowl since 1986. Um, this is the first one, obviously, where I stayed at home. Inside, along with the breakdowns, hype, and scoops, you'd find big-name analysts like Boomer Esiason and Brian Baldinger, football legends like Joe Montana and Joe Gibbs, even celebrities like Dennis Leary and Chris Tucker all weighing in on the big game. Packers all the way. Okay. No, 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 Jerks, they're not in it. Cecil Martin played for the Eagles and Buccaneers and now covers the NFL. To be able to bring the energy and excitement and bring my perspective as it pertains to someone who played, to everyone who's watching, it's a pleasure for me. Of course, life in New York and New Jersey continues as normal around Super Bowl events. You know, the New York traffic get, got, got into play a bit. I know a story that was uh, going around about one of the buses that had a police escort and lost the police escort and took an hour and a half to get from Jersey City to Midtown Manhattan. With events and appearances away from the stadium wrapping up, the focus now shifts to why everyone's here in the first place, the Super Bowl game itself. Bob McCall, Associated Press.